We are gathered here today to bury the old me. If you want to see how Jade and myself got this look, make sure you stay tuned. We have the amazing Jade Pierce in the building. Welcome. <laughs> We're gonna be doing some makeup today and stuff. Like, are you like excited to be here? I'm excited to be here. <laughs> I appreciate you having me. Oh, anytime. Guys, honestly, like Jade, I have been following you pretty much since the beginning. Like I've watched you, I've seen it all. And it's like kind of a surreal moment to like have you here right now. Stop like, it! I, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, like I don't move beggy with no one. I just like vibes, but then if people vibe with me, it's like, it makes sense. And that's, I feel like it just happens so naturally. Like, Yeah, no, I'm the same as, I'm the same as. You know, I keep myself to myself, so. But she's here now, so you know it's Because like... she's special and oh. I, I see a lot in you as well, and oh, I just, you. you're gonna be a star, 100%. I know. She wanna kiss me, I think. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> well, we're gonna do some like makeup stuff, some fun. I know that's like your kind of style of content. Yeah, I love like, a little bit of makeup. It's, I mean, I guess that's what I'm mainly known for. Yeah. So, getting ready and having a little girly chat. I'm down, I'm for, down it. for it. Let's get into it. Yeah, today is, I'm burying the old me. You know, like, that's why you can see the blunt cut bob. I got you my titties out for you. <laughs> like, quite literally. I really just like that. I'm gonna quickly prime my face using the Dior primer. <laughs> I've already primed my face though. I've used this MAC Hyper Real Skin Canvas Balm. How is Ayla? She's good. She's not very well right now, so she's off of school today. My mum is taking one for the team and looking after her. But oh, yeah, no, <laughs> she's good. No, she's an good angel. I feel like Ayla, we've like, watch grow up as well like I it's, know. It's, it's just oh, how old is she now like six six years old seven in january like why is she growing up she, tell that girl to sit down how and dare she up. actually grow up the way that she is no it's actually sad like it's it's good because like you want to see your children like grow up and be happy and things like that but it is sad at the same time i was watching some of my snapchat memories the other day <laughs> and emotional. Uh, yeah because <laughs> do you know what it is i didn't it's like I wasn't present at the time and like I just, cause I was just going through a lot. So I feel like when I look back now, I'm just like, damn, I really, I was there, but I missed because my brain wasn't there. So it's, it's sad, but at the same time, it's whatever. Well, I just, do you know what? I, I completely get what you're saying. Cause it's like, that's something I'm also like trying to work on is like being more present, but you were there. And you I was, no, I her. was there, and but you... my brain just like, I think my dad actually said it to me the other day. He was like, you are always thinking of the past or the future. You're never in the present. And that I was like, me. Oh my God. I was like, this is scary because it's, it's correct. Like I can never just. B, it's always, oh, what's the next job? Or who have I got to call? Or like, I don't know. I'm always That's... thinking about something or Ayla's future oh, constantly. No, like trying to micromanage everything. Yeah. Like, do you know what though? Do you think that's kind of being in the industry we're in? Like, cause yes. I feel that I'm always in a state of panic. I'm like, what's next? Like, what am I doing? Like, what is going on? I'm yeah, I think it's just working for yourself as well. And like knowing that it's like, nothing's guaranteed. It and makes you like you. panic. It's like you yeah. against the world. Do you know what I mean? It is like that. <laughs> yeah. Random question, but do you remember like the first time that we met? Do you remember the time? Oh, Was I... it wireless? It was wireless. Was it wireless the it first was. time? Do you know what's weird though? When I met you that day, it felt like I had no been knowing you. For ages. Yeah. I just be giving the people that vibe. You know? Yeah, no, it, it felt just... like I knew you for <laughs> ages. But do you know what's mad? Like we, I think we're following each other before we met, yes. I think. But when I met Jade, honestly, the loveliest soul, like uh, genuinely, <laughs> like my sister was with me and one of my like family friends and like she just, Oh, like I just can't explain it, Jade. Like you're such a special soul, and I'm not you even just you crying. I've got makeup I, I, on. Thank please you. Please don't. <laughs> you know we I'm a very you emotional know. person, though. Like honestly, I'm a sensitive soul. As I'm growing up, I'm becoming like this sensitive. Like I cry at everything now. Everything. The girl was a cold heart. It's, it was Ayla for me that gave me oh, really? mainly sensitive. I, I accept it about myself. I used to hate it, but at the same time, I'm just like, you know what? I'm just someone that shows my emotions. But then there's nothing wrong with that. Like, no. As you get older, you just realize like, this is like, this is normal, you know? Yeah. It's part of being a woman. It's part of being a bad bee, which is what this Chronicles, this series is about. Period. You feel me? <laughs> what is your definition of a bad bee? Like, if you could define it, like, what would you say is like your definition of a bad bee? My definition of a bad B would be being yourself, showing up for yourself. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds so like cliche, but for me, it's not like the, 
Yeah, I got a big ass, got big titties, got this, got facts, that. Facts. Vanessa, top Vanessa. <laughs> like, it's it's, it's, uh, it's not that for me. I feel like, yeah, my version is just being me and like standing on my own, no matter what anyone's got to say or the opinion about me or just remaining authentic to myself. Because I feel like if you're easily changed or swayed, who are you? Who are you? Like, are you even the bad B that you think you are? Right, and let's be real in this world, like you're gonna be tested. Life is gonna lie mm -hmm. like are you gonna be grounded in who you are or is it a thing where like and we do lose ourselves in the process like it's normal. i've lost myself 100 times in my life but, but then i get myself yourself. back yeah and that's i feel like being a bad b like being a bad b is just figuring it out <laughs> you know yeah just life and just kind of showing up showing out handling your business like even the l's like handling the l's so gracefully and just yes. you know like it's just like it's hard just being getting up after it all like just just not saying, yeah, I'm done with this. You can't give up on yourself. And I think that is the biggest bad B you can be, do you know what I mean? And you know what, speaking of that, like, is there any advice you'd give to like bad Bs out there? You know, if there's something you could give like a piece of advice, what would you, what would you say to the girl? Don't out let there? man take you for idiot. No. <laughs> bop, 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 bop. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> I mean, true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm for real, but at the same time. Let's talk about it. It's hard because I feel like I've got so many bits of advice for like young girls or just women or. But I think it goes back to what I said about how I feel like I'm a bad bitch. Like, you are. Just going back to the. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> just going back to that, just be your authentic. Like, no one can actually be you at all, ever in this life. And I know that people say that all the time, but it is actually your power. Facts. The fact that no one can be you. Yeah. And I think, you know, becoming a mum showed me that because you, when you produce something, they're going to be like the most amazing thing to you. I don't know if it's something that is explainable. When you produce your own child, you I think you start to see yourself as yourself that like you are one of one like I, I couldn't I couldn't produce another Ayla even if I tried right. do you know what I mean so like it's the same for us our parents only could make us they'll ne they won't be I mean unless you're a twin this is then. really like this is such beautiful advice because I feel like you you can see it from two different dimensions like mother jade but also when you were a young girl and like kind mm -hmm. of now raising a young girl yeah and it's just what you're saying is touching me <laughs> better effect no tears but for real like honestly because there's so many girls out there who don't have like maybe the right mother figure or like the women in around them maybe and they mm -hmm. just look to us like people like us for advice so it's just like you know i always just want to tell the girlies like hello i got your back like i will always do my best to give you guys the best advice but yeah that's why also having a series like this is so important because it's like how do i bring the the favorites you know the ogs the baddies <laughs> And we just talk like on some real shit. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And speaking of like, well, who would you say is a bad B that inspires you or did inspire you or had like maybe a, a huge impact on your journey? Not a cliche one, but my mother. Me too. Oh, is it the same for you? <laughs> yeah, no. a hundred. Do you know what it is with my mum? She has gone through so much shit in her life. Yeah. We collectively have as a family. Mm -hmm. But I don't, she's just still that bitch. She's, si <laughs> she's 60, she doesn't look it at whatsoever. She Yo, let me tell your mum, god damn. Inserts picture here. Like, <laughs> for real, look at her, bro. Mumsy, like. She makes me stunning. less fearful about like, <laughs> just aging and and things Funny. like that Fabulous. but in every way how she handles things and how she has still a smile on her face when she's got so many reasons to not have a smile on her face yeah. not but she has so many reasons to have, have a, a smile, smile on, on her, her face. face as well but when i the bad has been bad like guys like <laughs> the bad has been bad so i don't know how i would have coped even though i we went through it as as i said collectively as a family i was a child in the situation so having an adult mind that can understand everything. Yeah. I really don't know how she like coped with everything, but got better for her now. So that's that's what we love to see. Do you think you had like an impact in that? Like yes. <laughs> Yes, I have a direct impact yes. in there. Yeah, because like my mom, as I said, I've seen her go through so many things. 
And now for me, I'm just like, how do I, there's nothing I could do on earth that could ever repay my mum for everything that she sacrificed big facts, for us. But big facts. It's all, I just want to look after her. Yeah. Like, how can I look after you? So. But I think you're doing that, like as a viewer, right? Just watching you and what you've accomplished and things you've done. Like, I think you've done that so well. Like you can see mum, like you. your mum is so well taken care of. Ayla is so well taken care of. Yes. You're doing your thing. And I know it can be so overwhelming and stressful when you feel like, basically you're like the sole provider <laughs> in a sense. Uh -huh. But you did that for her, like you were able to give her that freedom and like... There's nothing else like, on earth that I've... I, do you know, I dreamt of this shit from a little girl. I like quite that. literally. And like, you manifested it. I That's did, like, like <laughs> period. Seeing my mum grow up, no, not seeing my mum grow up, but seeing my mum like <laughs> raise us with next to nothing. But technically then you've seen her grow up. Technically, because yeah. like if she had you young and you've seen the transition of Well, she didn't life. have me too young, but she started young having kids. What you? God bless How her. How many siblings have you got? Like Four um, brothers, two sisters. MashaAllah to MashaAllah. <laughs> we love to see it. MashaAllah. But, <laughs> but like, from my dad and my mum. Not what like, my mum just didn't like pop all these kids out. <laughs> though know? she could and still be a baby. But this is the thing, like women, this is why no one can talk to me crazy. Because I've literally got a portal in between my legs that brings life. Okay. Like, how are you going to talk to me crazy? You definitely find a new way of looking at um, life. When I gave birth to her, I felt like the strongest person on the universe. Really? Like I felt like there's nothing on earth I couldn't do because I pushed a baby out of my vagina. You did that, indeed. You're in a relationship, aren't you? In a relationship, I yes. Suppose you, you think you're better than me? <laughs> <laughs> You think you're better Listen, than Listen, there's, there's pros and cons of them all. No, I'm being for real though. There actually is pros and cons of them all. Do you feel like you, you were yourself, found yourself, and then kind of found someone? Or do you think that you were able to find yourself in like the relationship that you're in today? A bit of both. Yeah. So like, I mean, I'm scared. I'm scared of What are you scared, scared of? of? Men? Yeah, they are scary. It is scary. I want to, like, I want to, like, get married and, like, have kids and, like, just do all that. But then at the same time, it's scary. It's like, you don't, is this the right person for me? Am I like, cause I like to see longevity in everything that I do, but it's just like, you then let someone in and then it's just like, are you like, what are you, what are you up to? Why, who sent you? <laughs> who sent you? I think <laughs> it's fucked, but you know. no, I a hundred percent get you. And I feel like that's just with people in general. You can't, you can't trust people, whether it's like girls or guys, like it's hard. It's definitely hard to trust people. Yeah. Your intuition doesn't lie. Like when, when mm. something is telling you something's off, something's off yeah. and it, when something's telling you like something's right it most like well, we, we can't we're not like mind readers we don't know everything but like usually your gut feeling is the right one i can't begin to tell you like when i in my younger years because me and steph we've this will be our sixth year together. So wow. we've been dating for a really long time now. I love I love Steph, by the way. We, we love, love Steph. You, Steph. Shout out you, babe. Can Shout you out you. <laughs> but before I had like gut feelings yeah. of, and can I just say, Go on, chat to them. When I say like my past, I mean like I've dated a few people, so I'm not speaking about one specific human, just to let everyone know. There's a there's been a collection. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just here to support you in your <laughs> No, I'm I'm actually I'm kidding. kidding. I'm really just talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> but there had though no, there's definitely been more than one ex that's undeniable you so i just you. i just want to hello <laughs> stop it like damn stop feeling i was in real straight i would hit her up maybe on the phone or maybe on a sex i don't know well Shoot. i still might hit you up because i'm not straight ah! <laughs> Let's get into it. I'm joking, Steph, 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 I'm joking right Steph, now. Bro. I'm not joking about the the straight part. I'm not straight. Really? I'm, I like girls too. Have you ever like dibbled and dabbled? Until yeah. Really? Jane? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excluded, like, hold on a minute, because this might end up on the blog, shit. I mean, they should have picked this up a while ago. I've had a YouTube videos. So wait, have you dated, like, girls? No, I've never been in a relationship with a girl. Okay, but you've done things. I've done things. You, you a little freak, you little Leos be on some shit. No, it's true. <laughs> it really is true. Did you, was it different, like, being, like, maybe with a girl, or having an experience with females than with a guy, or? Um, yeah, different. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a long time, so I can't remember. <laughs> so you've been in a relationship for six years? Yes. Yeah. So This was when I was 19, like yes, around so. that sort of thing. So obviously got pregnant at 20, had her at 21. Oh wow, so this was like before Ayla? Yeah. Okay, 
I'm just trying to figure out the same line. Oh, you yeah, know? no, I like, like to do my research on people. I've got a past, you know? I've got a past, <laughs> yeah. But you know what, you own it, and I respect that so much, because let's be honest, let's be honest, let's, let's be honest. <laughs> a lot of you out there, you guys don't own your truth. Because I don't feel like I've got anything to be embarrassed about or anything like that. You have been doing this for eight years. Right? Mm -hmm. OG and his ting. Big mother. Mm, period. Jade Pierce. <laughs> Sometimes I actually be forgetting how long it's, Babe, it's been. Like, for real, like, you're very respected in this thing. Like, Thank you. We love you, like, the content you do. And just forget even the content, it's just who you are. Yeah. And in a real life, I can advocate and say she is just as amazing as she Oh, is. thank you. I appreciate it. You're so it. welcome. What, what would you say is, like, your favorite Jade Pierce era? If you could, like, from all the years you've been doing content, even if it was maybe Jade before the content, what would you say is like your favorite era of you? My favorite era of me, I think I'd have to say the start. Really? The start of like all of this. And I say that because I feel like I was my freest, most authentic self yeah. because you know, when you're young, you don't really, you don't really like imagine all the dangers that there are in the world. So like, you're just doing your thing or like for me, especially like I didn't have a baby, obviously at the start of my career. And it's, it's okay. I find it hard to talk about this sort of thing because when I talk about it, it makes me sound like I don't, don't want to be a mom or it makes it sound like oh. I would rather my life then than I do now. It's just that there's no, I'm, if, you're a, if you're a parent, you get it, but there's no freedom like it. When, when you're doing your career and you are up and down, especially like in a career like this where oh, I'm traveling or I'm doing this or I'm doing that. Even when I'm traveling now, for example, could I still do with work? I find that the mum guilt is crippling. Like oh, I yeah. feel so bad that she's not here experiencing this with oh, me or like- That's so cute. Yeah, like- I, I find that so cute. That, <laughs> That is what it is. I, I just, the freedom of that, like just being able to just get on. And I was so fun. I still am a fun person, yeah, but like, I'm about to say, like, no, I'm still fun. Let me are. not. Like, I just oozed excitement and I miss that version of myself even now. Do, so, do you think that version of you is like still inside? She yeah, but I feel like she's watered down. I find it hard like in this industry because I'm quite an open book but it's yeah. difficult because <laughs> you're so judged like there's so many things I would love to talk about and like be a hundred percent honest about and like yeah. share my heart like how because I talk I could talk a lot <laughs> but like if you were in we at my house um we have like a glass table like a clear glass and we call it the clear table talk you know how like there's red table yeah. talk we call it I the clear that. table can talk can i come yes okay because it will be so important yeah. when there are no cameras let me but look. i let talk me. and i'm forever crying at that fucking table oh, babe. but these Bless are the things <laughs> these are the things that i wish i could share with the internet but i have to guard myself and my heart and also my family because people just start coming for no people reason. that have nothing to do with it and stuff so that's true that is quite difficult for me to adapt to but yeah i'd say the start of it when you like at the start of it you literally get that's paid true. before you even done the job but you know stuff. what's mad though even at the start of it it's like you are almost like this version of yourself but like it's so new and fresh but then you at the beginning you don't appreciate you at the beginning when you're there because you are no. like i want to be doing this and i want to be doing that and when you get there now it's just like oh my God, like I completely forgot to like take it in almost because I was in such a hurry to get here. Yeah. And then it's just like. But I do feel like I used to live in the moment more then than yeah. I do now. Yeah. I, I, and I, I don't know why that is. I, I think my dad said it to me the other day. You're always in the past or you're always in the future. You're never in the present. And it's something that I'm taking on board because it's, it's true. And every time I look at any sort of moment in my life, I am like, Oh, I don't remember that. Or oh, yeah. when did that? And it's because I'm not present. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. But you know what? Kind of being on this topic, and obviously this episode being like burying the old me. Mm -hmm. If you could do like a funeral service for your old self, if you could like bury something about the old you, what would it be? Would that be boundaries. Would that be being too nice? Would it be being a people pleaser and not standing oh. up for myself because I wanted to be accepted and I wanted to be like, okay, for example, like in school, you have the popular lot. And like, I was kind of, I was in the popular lot, but I wasn't in the popular lot. Like I was the joke of the popular lot, but I was still, the, I was still there. I was still there, <laughs> but I wasn't like, 
a lot of the time, for example, they'd get invited to parties and they wouldn't tell me about it and I'd find out on social media. I know, that's really not, I don't like people who do stuff like that. Yeah, very odd, but I don't like that. It is what it is, I'll find but for you. like they should have been I'll as friends. Yeah, do you know what? Let's uh, yeah, like yeah. Sorry, that's we're we gonna square button. up. No, but seriously, I don't like that mean behavior. It's and mean I girl shit, and I don't like it as well. And it'd make me feel really, really bad. But in the badness that I was feeling, I would never be like, "You guys are meant to be my friends. Why wasn't I told about this?" Like I would you like, I'd act like I didn't see anything. You hold it down because I didn't I want an argument, or I didn't want to. But that must have hurt, you know, like baby, it literally hurt so much because I never, I never understood I it. This is me hugging the younger Jade. Thank you. After this camera cuts, I'm gonna need me. I already know the area. I'm gonna like, show you their Instagrams. Because. <laughs> Like you thought you were No, there's a go there's a that? couple no, there's a couple of them, say couple, really one of them. Let me keep it buck. There, there there's a one of them that has said to me like, you know, it was wrong, they she apologizes or whatever. So I'm cool with her. But the others we've never really spoken about. It. And it's not that I'm not cool with them. Like if I saw them and it's all good. Yeah. But oh yeah, I should probably share what I'm for foundation, I use these two <laughs> together. Yes, love Charlotte it. Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation with the NARS Longwear Foundation. And then for concealer, I use, which is the Lancome it's All so Over good. Concealer. And then the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And now I'm on to cream bronzers, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. And I put a little bit of the Chanel one on as well. Me? I said Christian Dior Dior. Hey. Christian Dior Foundation. Christian Dior Concealer. Christian Dior Bronzer. <laughs> Christian Dior Dior Dior. <laughs> but yeah, go on, babe. You were saying something. I'd be like, I can't even remember what I was saying now. Oh, main PayPal, one specific person. She, one person has said sorry to me. The others, it's not that I'm not cool with them. It's just that we've not had that conversation. You know what? Though? I've got to say, like, sorry, but when people do not to generalize us, but when people do like content creators wrong, well, that must hurt. Whatever it is like <laughs> Steph, sort of like he. That was woof. He has sort of said to me before, they've probably only, you know, said what, like, would you get an apology if you wasn't in the position that you were at, basically? Let's be real. And Let's I probably up. wouldn't. Let's and, although, only, as I said, only one has apologized. If they remembered and wanted to apologize because they felt remorseful, then cool. fine. But I don't think a lot of the time when people are doing these things, I don't think they even remember it. Which is crazy I mean? because it's like, okay, we're all kids, but at the same time, like, you as a kid too. And, uh, and that's the thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a bit like... I give people a lot of grace because I realise in school, you just want to be liked. So you just do things that make you liked. So maybe some of the other girls didn't feel that's that they could one. stick up for me yeah. because they wanted to be liked by the head honcho of the group or whatever. So I, I see so, so many different angles, but at the same time, I didn't like, deserve to be didn't. treated that way. So... So... Bit, yeah. Names, addresses, like we pull it up. Do you get it? It's so mad because I've started this social media thing in it and like I keep it cute, but I've always been a pull up type girl. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that anymore. Of course. But it's just like, I'll be real, in school, I was always, I'm, I would say I'm very lucky because I was always like very popular. Like I always got along with everyone. Like no one ever gave me problems. I'm like five foot one and even if the <laughs> biggest person in the room was getting bullied, like I'm going to go to that bully and I'll bully the bully. Oh, that's so I good. I just believed in fairness. Like I was always taught in my home, like be fair, be kind. If you see injustice happening, if there's anything you can do, get involved and stop it. And I yeah. always like try to use my popularity for the better good. Mm -hmm. But I'm so sorry you went through that. And if I went to your school, oh yeah, I done a lot. I've done healing on that. I did. A, I've done babe. hypnotherapy and for my traumas. And Good. I mean, I probably need to go back because there's few things creeping up in my life now. But you know, for that sort of stuff, I feel like I don't hold any grudges. Yeah, but like, it is what it is. It's like we like we're burying things about us. You know, if there was something that I could bury, I think for me it would definitely be like you, the people pleasing aspect. Mm. I think naturally we all have that side to us. Unfortunately, it's one thing I really was trying to install into Ayla to not be one. Good. Like, like say no if you don't want to do something. If you don't yeah. want to do something, say no. Like, I know? have taught her that because I I know how it feels to like you don't want to say yes or you don't want to say no. I don't know. You're just afraid of everything. Think yeah. it's, it is crippling for some reason. But you know what also I would say too is boundaries. I feel like the older I get, it's like I have boundaries with people and I have those for a reason because I know how my heart is. Like I want to let everyone in. Mm -hmm. I want to love on everyone. And in, I feel like I have a very healing spirit. Like, you know what? I just want to show everyone love, but it's like, you have to be very careful then. So 
So one thing that I'm burying sure. is my non-boundaries with people. Mm. If I'm gonna be known to be a bitch, then call me a fucking bitch because I really just don't care. We're like, all a villain in someone's story, B. It's true. And honestly, like when you start to not care, is when you realize that people put more respect on your name and they're like, oh shit, okay, like, Jade won't like that, so let me just, like, do you get it? But when you see that I'm trying to be nice about things, it's like, oh, you want to take me for it. It yeah. gets you nowhere. You don't get no medal at the end of this life, like, no, well done, you as a doormat. <laughs> do you know what? Speaking of being a doormat, because I feel like being a doormat relates to being a dumb bee. We've all had our <laughs> dumb bitch moments. We have. We what would you say is, like, your biggest, like, dumb bitch moment? It would be, <laughs> Lord, <laughs> there's a few. <laughs> Trust me. There's a few. Trust me. I don't know. It's little. It's things like thinking that everyone has like your best intention, or like yeah. a guy you're with. You think that they have your best intention or something, and they they just they don't. And like I feel like not following your gut is a dumb bitch move. And I've done oh that so many times. I've done it so many times, and then I've always been like, why didn't I trust my gut every time? It's part of being a woman. Your intuition. And what, and what about you though? What is? Do you know what? I'm like you. I've had a bunch of dumpy moments. Like it's actually <laughs> hard to pinpoint one. Not that I feel like I just do things like an airy fairy. No, 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 it's no. just that I think sometimes I just trust people too much. Like, it's I not think... like I go into things blindly. You just hope the best. That's the one and the two. Oh. She hit the on head. And that also ties into the boundaries thing, where it's just like you don't, you can't be taken for it either. But at the same time, it's like you want to do what you can to love people. And I think yeah. also for me, it's maybe like just always trying to give people the benefit of the doubt and constantly trying to see the good. Like, I'm always doing that. Even when people are doing me wrong blatantly in my face, I'm just like, bro, like, okay, maybe this is just a one-off, but then it's just like, no. Mm. No more being dumbies. Yeah, okay? no, now for on, real. We have smart girl, we use the head and the brain and we say, no. What I'm gonna do now is my eyeshadow off camera because like, it takes me a minute, you know? And I might have some help behind camera. <laughs> but we'll be back right after this. And we're back. Hello, this darling. This is the final look. Give it to them, Jade. Last few questions for you is where do you see yourself in five years? Because you know we've now buried the old us. Oh, I feel like this answer is going to be so disappointing. I don't speak about my five-year plan to any soul. <laughs> that's the I know that's the answer. I know that's so disappointing no, because no. people want tea and answers, but. I just let people, there are bad mind people in the world and people that don't want the best for you. Big big. And so I just, I keep it to myself and my clear table talk. But I see myself happy. Okay, content? Content, happy. Growth. Grown and less confliction with myself. Cause I still feel like, even though I'm 27, I'm heading into my thirties, I still feel as though I'm figuring myself out. I'm still who I am sort but of But does thing. that ever stop? I don't know if it does. I, I actually don't think it does. I feel like I'll be 60 years old and I'll still be like working things through. You no, know, for like, real, because my mum is 60 and she's still working things through. So it doesn't does end. Look, bruh, we have to insert another picture. Insert picture. Like, like deal. <laughs> Ideal. No, honestly. And I guess my last question is, what advice would you give to your younger self? I don't know. She was fucked up. Was it that bad? 
my childhood was not was not it, there was parts of it that were obviously decent but there was some there was a lot of it where i'm just like i don't know what the fuck happened there what advice would i give to my younger self the best advice i could probably give to my younger self just know that this is temporary whatever you're going through is a temp situation this isn't your life forever and you will find girls that you get along with and understand you and are like-minded so and cute. yeah that just hope just keep going basically that yeah. was so like I felt that because I feel like we all like are I feel a bit emotional like my voice is like a little bit shaky I don't know why whenever I talk about my younger self I'm just like I feel bad for her but at the same time I'm, I'm proud now. of me like now right. do you know what I mean so because sometimes you have to go through that to be here and for sure uh, and all of us have like our inner child like still there like whether it's you see it in like relationships or friendships or family ships whatever it is mm -hmm. even just a simple question of like what advice would you give your younger self it's like it's so raw and for sure i would want the younger you to just know that she's so loved Aww. and she's gonna grow up to be this beautiful like almost real life princess who treats <laughs> everyone with respect God, and thank you. like millions of people will be watching yeah <laughs> And we're all rooting for you. You know, it's honestly insane. And oh, I just want to give you a hug. Thank <laughs> you. Like, I, I, I am very proud of like who I am now. And like, younger me would honestly be screaming. And like, even you saying that like millions of people would be watching you. Like, young, <laughs> younger me saw myself in, in some sort of spotlight or whatever. But I didn't know how. Mm. And also, like, you know, when you grow up broke and you just feel like how am I going to get there sort of thing. Yeah. So I feel like those sort of thoughts, I don't know, impacted how I was going to get there. But I'm, I'm proud of me and I'm, I'm thankful for every single person that's been on the journey. I know this isn't my channel right now and I'm like getting all soppy. But, but we appreciate you. Like, yeah, I like I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be here without everyone. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. It got real emotional real quick. <laughs> this is what this series is about. It's realness, it's rawness, it's women yeah. coming together. Like just in speaking, because I just know so many girls are gonna watch this and they're gonna like benefit from it or will kind of feel comfort in what you're saying or what I've been saying. And how do we get their favorites or the favorites that people watch and like we almost kind of dissect, not too much, because I don't want people to cry. You know, we still bad. Yeah. We gotta hold it down. But yeah. you know, like just keep it raw because I'm so sick of the and I do that a lot where it's no emotions, ha ha ha, like let's have a good time. A persona. But let's be real, like let's be real, let's get down to it, let's talk. Yeah. Because I am someone who I love watching raw content, so it's like, how do I not to take that into my own? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like watching that sort of content as well because I feel less alone <laughs> in, in whatever I'm feeling. So. Aww, no. I just want to say again, thank you so much for coming on. Thank this you for is having burying me. the old me anytime, you know? This is what life is always going to be about. It's going to be continuous growth, elevation, learning more about yourself every single day. And we are gathered here today to bury <laughs> the old me. Yeah. And with that, it's you don't completely bury the old you, but it's like she's still there. We acknowledge her, we're healing her, but we go on. Yeah. And we go forth and we go strong and we just we just go for it. Life you know, has to go on. Exactly. You heard. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Make, Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> I'm not fucking playing with you. <laughs> so I'm not messing. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah. And make sure you follow Jade on all of her socials. Thank you. At J Pierce. What? At J Pierce on everything. J-A-Y-D-E. Sorry, oh. not J-A-D-E. No, we love Jade you. Why? Yeah. Jay Pierce on everything. And don't ask why. Yeah, no, please don't. <laughs> and make sure you follow me on all my socials. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.